A question that I've been getting asked a lot recently was just how do I actually study for college and still have time to do things? And well, the truth is, I don't actually study that much. In fact, it's really hard for me to just sit down for hours on end and actually just look at the book, look at the material, and study. So instead, I found it much more helpful for me to take my notes in a way that effectively has me studying while I'm taking them. From my experience, there are usually two possibilities that your professor or teacher uses to teach. Either they lecture with slides or they lecture while writing on the chalkboard. Of course, there are plenty of times when they do both as well. But in whatever case, my approach to note-taking doesn't change. Okay, my note-taking is a two-step process. So let's talk about the first step, which happens while I'm in class. One thing that y'all have probably already heard, but it's worth mentioning anyway, is that you should never copy the slides directly. If the professor goes slow and spends a decent amount of time on each slide, then take the time to rewrite your notes in your own words and to best understand the topic. If he goes fast, on the other hand, you can take what I call pseudo notes, write down what the professor has to say about the topic in whatever way you want, and if they provide it, look at the slides after class and take any extra notes that you might have missed or think is necessary for understanding the topic or understanding the class in general. Also, if the professor is more of a writer, and in my experience, they are messier with how they teach things, then you should also write pseudonotes. Again, write down what they write and make sure to capture all the content that they are presenting. You'll see later after class is when I look back at all my notes and coherently rewrite them in my actual notes binder. So that's about it when it comes to taking notes during class. Now, I am in no way an artsy person, so at this point, my notes look pretty messy and, and are pretty hard to read. But honestly, that's fine, because in the next part, that's where the magic actually happens. So after class, I usually go to the library to do work. But before I actually start any assignments that I have, I'll instead take around an hour or two to rewrite my notes. Of course, this time isn't taken just to rewrite them. It's something that I want to spend carefully deciding exactly what I understand, what I don't, and then rewriting all my notes in a way that allows me to better understand the topic as a whole. One of the benefits of this is that a lot of the time, professors don't talk about topics that should be related to each other consecutively. You know, sure, they probably talk about them in the same class, but by that time, your notes about the mitochondria are like half a page from your notes about the Krebs cycle, just because the professor decided to talk about some other organelle in between the two. Of course, taking online notes could solve this problem since, you know, it's much easier to rearrange notes online than versus in a paper. But then you don't really get the learning benefits of taking handwritten notes, which is what I prefer. So during this time out of class, again, I read over my notes and try to understand what the material is actually talking about. From there, I just rewrite my notes in a way that I understand the most. That way, not only is it easier to go over my notes again when studying, but I'm literally reviewing and learning the material as soon as class is over. And with that, I have notes that are really easy to understand since I wrote them from my own understanding. And it didn't require anything special in terms of pens, notebooks, paper, highlighters, or anything else in general, really. On that topic, however, I do like to briefly mention what I use when taking notes. Simply put, I use a number two pencil, and they're all pink right now because I got them from a college prep class that I took in high school and they provided a bunch of pink pencils and sometimes a pen when writing my notes. I also write my notes in a binder with loose leaf notebook paper inside of it. Now, why do I use binders instead of other types of notebooks? Well, for me, I just find organizing to be much easier with binders. You know, for one, you can put graded work in the back and handout slash scratch work in the front, so everything is stored in one place for every class. You can remove pages with pseudonotes or add pages if you need more room. And you can put the syllabus in the front cover of the binder, you know, to mark which class the binder's for, and it's an easy reference for if you ever forget when the office hours are or what the class is talking about. But yeah, that's how I take notes in a way that helps me learn and study less. Of course, this video was more of a different approach to the process of taking notes, rather than how you actually take notes. You know, I did this primarily because everyone takes notes differently and that can affect how people learn. But this process can help people learn more effectively, even with their own style of note taking. This process is something that I think everyone can do no matter how they take their notes. And with that being said, hopefully you guys found something useful, something that helped you guys in some way. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.